All right, what is up guys and welcome back. Today we are out here in East Texas once again doing a little bit of pond crappie fishing. And the goal today is to catch probably about five or six of them because the pond is super overrun with crappie and then do a little catch and cook like always. But before we get to fishing, I just want to say that last night there was a huge storm and it was wind was blowing like crazy and there was actually hail coming down. So it got pretty bad. And then this morning when I woke up, it was like 48, 49 degrees but there was not a cloud in the sky and it's absolutely beautiful. Right now it's actually warmed up to about 70 and we're gonna see if we can get on these fish. I did come down here this morning and throw a lure around and I caught like one super small crappie and then just didn't get any other bite, so it was super slow. But what I did is just a minute ago, I went down to the creek and I scooped up a bucket full of minnows. So I think we're gonna be able to get on some. There's two brush piles in this pond, one on the deep end back here and then one on the shallow end over there. So usually the crappie will hang out around those. I'm gonna tie on with a little bitty hook and a slip bobber and see if we can get on something. So stay tuned guys and let's see what happens. So instead of tying a super complex rig, I'm just gonna go with probably one of the simplest ways to catch crappie. And that is a little 1 16th ounce jig head with a cork right above it. So we, we're doing about three and a half feet of line here. Um, we're gonna start with that. And then if we catch them, then obviously that's how deep down they are. And if not, we can either go, we can either adjust it to maybe a foot and a half of depth, or we can go all the way down to six feet right on top of that brush. So this is what we're starting with. I was gonna use a little hook, a split shot, and then, you know, put a bobber stop on, but why do that whenever this works exactly the same? We're gonna grab a minnow, hook it up here, and cast out. All right, we're gonna start with just a little minnow here. I'm gonna hook them through the eye socket. You could hook it through the tail, hook it through the lips. Doesn't matter. Right now, I'm just gonna try it through the eye socket. We're gonna lob it out. I did get some pretty big minnows. This is not one of them, but I did manage to catch like about 10 bull minnows. They're just absolutely massive. So we're going to start with this one, see if we can get something to bite, and then we'll switch over to those bigger ones, see if we can catch some real nice size crappie. All right, so check it out. We got a minnow right here. We're going to hook him through the eyes and send them right out there into the middle of the pond. Oh, and that one just got bit. Uh, I gotta cast this one out and then I'll grab it. Oh yeah, we got one on on this rod. Oh no, it came back up. No, he's still on. Got him. Feels like a good one. Oh, it's a bass. Not what we wanted, but hey, still fun to catch. Second fish of the day right here. They fight crazy hard. Dang, cows won't be quiet. They fight crazy hard on these little light rods. There he is right there, good little bass. Pop him off. Let him go and try to get another. Something weird is going on. I got him. It's a little bass. How weird, okay. There we go, a little bass. Not what we wanted. That's the third one I've caught, I think. A little bass. Second or third. I'll look out, get the release. Boom. Let it flip out. Super easy. Oh, dude, that was immediate. Oh, that's a big one. Big crappie. Big crappie. Boom. That's a keeper. There we go right there. Wow. First crappie. We move spots. It's actually way later in the afternoon here. Actually, we're going to let this guy go. He's not too big. Recording. No, different fish. I'm on again immediately. I didn't have it recording, but on again immediately as soon as it hit the water. This one is a little bit keeper than the last one, or a little bit bigger than the last one, so we are going to keep it. Boom, right there. That was perfect. Found a good one right there. It's going to be crazy. Got him. That's another good one. No, it's, oh, it is a nice bass. I oh, worked up on a nice bass here. And there we go. Wow. Bam! Oh. <laughs> nice little bass here. Nothing crazy. Not even a pounder probably, but fun fight. There's fish all in this tree right here. And we haven't even started going deep yet. We're just picking around the top of the tree. There he is. But yeah, like I just said, we're only throwing about two foot, three foot of leer line. And this tree is 14 feet deep on the far side, so the deeper we get, we might pull out more of those crappie, maybe even bigger ones. All right, I have one of the biggest minnows in the bucket here going out. Let me show y'all him. Boom. Hooking him basically right in the middle of the body. 
and flicking them up against the tree. Poking around trying to find out where these crappie are. I already kind of found them, but see, oh dude, there's a bass looking at my cork. A bass just tried to eat my bobber. I think I caught that on camera. Oh, we're in the honey hole. Got him. Oh, that's a huge crappie, huge black crappie. Dude, he, look at this thing. Look at, look at the color of him. He's dark black. That's insane. Yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Man. All right. There he is, a giant black crappie right there. Absolutely beautiful. Boom. Honestly, I'm going to let this guy go just because he's so pretty. And hopefully I'll be able to catch another one. And if I catch another black one, though, I'm keeping him. I don't care. Darn. Got him. Bass. Boom. Flipped him up here. A little bass caught right off the edge. This place is just absolutely loaded today. Nothing special. Another little one. But hey, real fun fight. Real, 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 real. You got him. Dude, another, that's a good crappie. Yes, sir. Bring it up over here. All right, stop reeling. Boom, got him. That's a keeper right there. Nice, dude. No comments? <laughs> Just super quiet. You want to throw him in the cooler? Yeah. All right, here, grab his mouth. Oh, you can grab him by the lip if you want. Make it easier. All right, another keeper. That's two keepers in the cooler. All that uh, water moving. Got him. That's a good one. Another good crappie. Oh, dude, that's a monster. That's a monster crappie. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And I still have my bait. You do? Yeah. There we go, guys. A big old crappie right here. Get my hook out of his mouth. And this one's going in the cooler. All right. There we go. Big giant crappie right there. Super lit up. We're going to lay him in the cooler with his other friends. And we don't need to keep many more out of here. I only wanted to keep two or three out of this pond. And then... Go, yeah, and then go to another pond, the other pond that's actually overrun. Because this one has quite a few crappie in it, but it also has, or but it's not crazy overrun with them. Okay. Oh, thank you, man. Well, camera wasn't on, but I just hooked another giant crappie. Probably the biggest one yet. Yeah, that thing is huge. Um, <laughs> that's actually insane. We're actually going to let this one go because we already have the three in the cooler. I don't want to catch any more out of here. But that is like the biggest one ever. Oh, there he is, giant one. Yeah, you want to let him go? Yeah. Here you go. Down by the mouth. Dude, look how fat he is too. His back right there, thick. There you go. Boom. Lifts to five another day so we can come back and catch him when he's even bigger than that. So we just pulled up to the next pond, the first pond that we were at this morning where we didn't catch anything. And you can see the crappie flicking around here. So I think we're going to have some luck. We went and scooped up about six or seven more minnows. My little cousin over here is going to throw minnows. And now I'm going to throw lures and see what happens. So stay tuned. All right, we're on our last minnow right here. We had those three crappie in the cooler. We didn't really catch much of this pond, um, but as y'all saw, we could have kept more from the other, but we just chose not to. I have some crappie fillets in the freezer at the house from last time I was here. So we're going to use, I think we have one more minnow actually. We're going to use our last minnow, see if anything bites, and then we're going to head back to the house and cook these up for you guys. So stay tuned. What is up y'all and welcome back. It is actually two days later. We're about to cook up this crappie here, but check it out. This is a little different change of scenery as you can see behind me. So last time, whenever I caught this crappie, I was in East Texas and then I drove home the next day to Houston. Then the very next morning I woke up early and we came out here to the hill country to try to do a little bit of turkey hunting, but I brought the crappie with me because I had no time to cook it at home. So we're about to cook it up right now. I have it soaking in mustard, which it takes away all the fishy flavor, which I know crappie doesn't have much, but takes away all the fishy, fishy flavor and it helps the flour or whatever you're using bind to the meat better. So okay. I actually have it soaking in honey Dijon right now instead of just normal yellow mustard because we didn't have any yellow mustard. And then we don't have any fish fries. So what I got is just a little bit of flour because we didn't even have cornmeal. We have like nothing up here, right? We're at the ranch. So we got a little bit of flour right here that I put some seasoning in. And we're just gonna take the fish out of here, throw it in. So I have a few little crappie tails right here to throw in because those are like potato chips we can fry them up. So we're gonna throw all these in the bag, shake it up then fry it real quick and tell you how it tastes. So stay tuned. All right, oil's ready. We're gonna put our fish in and it shouldn't take long to fry. Crappie flays are pretty skinny. So probably about three minutes and they'll be ready. Drop them in. 
set the timer, and then we're gonna be ready to try it out. All right, our first batch of fish is done right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. So, there we go. There's not much of a crust on it. A lot of the flour fell off. That uh, mustard was super thin, so. But cooked perfectly, maybe even, I don't know, 10 seconds overdone, but not much. So there we go, we have our first piece of golden crappie flays fried up right there. We're gonna try them out. We're gonna give this crappie a taste right here for you guys. So, got my little crappie nugget just like that. And I actually made it with sauce. Honestly, I just put whatever was in there in the sauce. It's like mayonnaise and horseradish and I don't know, mustard and stuff. So we're gonna give it a try with the sauce right here. Let's go for it. Wow, that's super good guys. I'm actually impressed. Not gonna lie, the first batch that we cooked came out a little overdone. So recook this batch. And this is like some of the best fish I've had in a while right here. Um, I usually am a saltwater fish guy, but freshwater fish definitely have their place. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you are not already. And if you are, thank you guys so much. So hopefully the next video you all will be seeing is a little bit of turkey hunting as we're up here at the ranch, like I said a minute ago. But that's all I have for you all today. Until next time, peace.